everyone i hope you all had a lovely christmas i just thought to come in and say a quick hi and i wanted to share my um my favorite products art supply products that i have discovered and been absolutely loving this year so um i will mention five things five items and so these have been appearing in a lot of my videos and I have absolutely been really loving them and it's something that I've never thought of in terms of watercolor and gold or metallic watercolors. They do have also other colors by the way if you're interested but I just wanted to have the golds and there is also a silver one so it's it's super lovely so the um quite a few of you I think have asked me about this set and it's the um Colero uh, it's the fine tech um Colero says M M600 I'm not sure whether that's a number for this particular set or not but these are lovely handmade watercolors um, handmade in Germany and it says here fine tech there you go so they are beautiful I have done a full review with swatches so you can go and have a look at that video if you want but basically here are the six colors five of which are golds and a silver right here they look quite pretty and they the pants are removable so you can buy them separately and switch them out if you want so that's number one number two I'm just I'm doing them actually in a random order so um, there is no particular kind of um, indication in terms of number and places so this is the core watercolor set and this particular one that I have absolutely fallen in love is the high chroma and um, it's got six colors five mil tubes so that's um, I also have a full review of this product as well so you can have a look in depth and there are six, seven, nine, ten, nine, twelve uh, wells here, and you get six colors in the pan. So these large ones are the ones that I have added to my collection separately. So you basically can use twelve mixing um, um, wells in here. So it's it's plenty. And there are different sized ones so this is a quite a big one so it's good you can maybe even do a couple of colors so the reason I love this one is just because it's gorgeous and this mistletoe which I have a tutorial for I have painted with these watercolors and really really like the way they work they're very different to all of my other watercolors and I use just or predominantly I use artist grade if I'm doing journaling I might go down to student grade but um, otherwise it always is um, the joy of using artist grade watercolors and compared to um, Schminke Horadam, uh, Nevska Palitra White Nights, Mijello, Daniel Smith what else do I have? I think I have something else I can't think of it out of the top of my head oh Saint-Nerier yes so out of all of them this is um, very different Love these and for this year they would have to be my top watercolor brand just because of the um, exciting textures you can achieve with them and the um, yeah it's just it's fantastic so have a look at my full review just to get a better idea why um, I'm so in love with these watercolors next thing I'm going to um, talk about is these two actually but they're two separate things so they are from the same brand they're from platinum carbon ink and um, so let's talk about the ink first 
I ordered this ink after I have gone through a few different inks um, that claim to be water resistant or waterproof and they weren't 100% waterproof and the only one I found to be is this one here. So this is the platinum carbon ink that I'm doing all of my illustrations with. And by the way, the previous two items, the two watercolors that I have just mentioned, I got them on Amazon as I did these with these two as well. So I got them on Amazon. Some of you have been asking me where I got them. And so this is um, color black. Um, I don't know if they do any other colors. They probably do. And you need a converter, which I have right here. I haven't done a full review on it just because I'm waiting for the um, cartridge ink to finish in this fountain pen so I can use it. But I will show you really quickly. It's a very good looking and it's got quite a nice weight to it, um, cartridge um, refill. So it's, yeah, it's quite different to others that I experienced. It's really, like I said, quite neat, actually. Uh, so in terms of the pen that I'm using together with this ink is the fountain pen in extra fine. So I couldn't find any other fountain pen that is so beautiful to draw with. In terms of writing for short kind of titles and things like that, it's good, but it's not a pen I would recommend for a kind of journal writing if you like to write pages of um, a text. It's um, a little bit, it might just kind of give you a scratchy feeling. It's not as soft and flowing as, for example, a Lamy Safari. So these are fantastic for writing, although you can sketch with these as well. There is nothing wrong with it at all. Um, but in terms of getting a very, very fine line, um, I have not come across anything that would give me this result as this pen. And I love the look of it. It's very neat. I love the gold nib. Um, and yeah, it's very elegant and very light to hold. Mm. Yeah, this is a great, great combo. Um, so I think I might have mentioned already, but I ordered these on Amazon as well. And then finally, I'm going to mention um, sketchbook. I'm not going to mention any sketchbook in particular, although I have been using quite a few of the Stillman and Byrne sketchbooks this year. So I think um, I've got three now. And... I am also planning to try another one. So all of these are the better series, which are great for watercolors. And the paper is really thick. And let me double check. So this is the 270 GSM. And this is the cold press. So it has a little bit of a tooth to it. So you can see right here. So it's not too textured, but it's not... Um, 100% smooth which um, I do like texture in in the um, on the paper so it's a very good quality um, paper and it's white so if you like white then better series is your um, pick they also do um, thinner paper so lighter paper which I also want to try then let's have a look at, um, so this one is, I haven't started it yet. This is the ring bound um, sketchbook, which I absolutely love. It's also the beta series and it's got a hard cover to it. And so the great thing about it is that you can have it completely flat like so. And um, yeah, if that's something you really enjoy, I love that because in some sketchbooks you end up with a situation like this one where if you if you put the um, one of the sides down, then it's kind of cascading at an angle, which might be quite annoying to draw on. So you end up kind of 
putting something underneath to get it straighter if that makes sense a little bit more um expensive and you know high quality paper and quite thick that is great for watercolor like the stillman and burn better series also them um, i think alpha series if i'm not mistaken is also highly regarded amongst artists especially urban sketchers um and yeah so that's something i want to try it's a bit thinner the paper but if you don't use a, a huge amount of water and just use watercolor just to color in kind of um certain aspects of the illustration then that is also a great um, sketchbook to have so this particular one um is not as high quality in terms of paper thickness um, as the other one so this is the jane davenport canvas journal and this is the small one and the paper i just will tell you quickly is 200 gsm it's uh, a mixed paper so on one side it's cold and the other one it's hot and the size of it is six by nine so six across and nine height wise um, inches just to give you an idea and yeah so the canvas cover it's a hard cover you can cover it with gesso and, and do some of your um, art and then you can buy I think a um, like a plasticky transparent cover to protect the art I don't have that cover yet so that's why I haven't done anything on the cover but I'm just keeping it as it is it is good fun um, it does buckle however the uh, Stillman and Burn better series does not buckle and so it's uh, a better kind of um, a better watercolor experience um, than here because if you already have used or painted on the other side you are going to have this buckling and then you might find it slightly challenging to paint on the um, on this side just because the watercolor will going into places where you perhaps don't want it to go because of the buckling so and in terms of the texture this is the side with tooth so I hope you can see that and then this I'm trying to see so this is was this the tooth no sorry this was the smooth so this is the one with the tooth and the one opposite it is the smooth one there you go you can see a little bit there so that is it really and yeah I would highly recommend to anyone just to start a journal in the new year and encourage yourself to use it as many times as you can even if it's just some sort of scribbling you when you go um, to a gallery you see something you can take a picture these days art journals are just such a fun way um, to go forward with your art because you can use these pocket printers um, you can you know you can do all sorts of stuff and just documenting your art journey so yeah, I um I'm wishing you a happy new year if I don't see you before that. And a lot of um art projects for the for the upcoming year. So thanks for watching and happy new year once again and see you soon.